hey guys welcome back to another video hope you all are doing good so in today's video we are going to see how to fix if your microphone is not detected or your microphone is not recognized on windows 10 so let's start the video the first step you can try is go to this windows icon click on it after that click on settings then click on system on the left side click on sound then scroll down and click on this option app volume and device preferences click on it now what you have to do is you have to reset this settings to defaults so click on reset and this will reset the uh, microsoft recommended defaults and one more thing make sure your correct microphone is selected now move on to the next step you can try run the troubleshooter so for this again click on this windows icon then click on this settings option after that go to this update and security on the left side click on troubleshoot then click on additional troubleshooters now scroll down and you have to click on this option recording audio click on it then click on run the troubleshooter so this will try to identify the problem related with your microphone so you have to wait for few minutes and you can see the result troubleshooting has completed and the issue has been fixed now so you can use this troubleshooter to uh, fix the issue related with the microphone now move on to the next step you can try set your microphone as a default so for this right click on this speaker icon then click on this sounds option now here you have to click on this recording tab so this is the microphone i am using so if you are using multiple microphone in that case you have to set a microphone as a default okay and check the volume level of your microphone so you have to right click on the mic which you are using right click on it then go to properties after that click on this levels tab and here you can decrease or increase your microphone level okay and if your microphone volume is disabled from here as you can see you can just click on it to enable the microphone level and you can increase it as well so you can check the levels as well now if you are still getting the same issue and in the next step we are going to check the microphone privacy settings so go to this windows icon then click on this settings option after that click on this privacy option on the left side scroll down and you will see this option microphone click on it now here you have to make sure this option is enabled allow apps to access your microphone so make sure this option is enabled like this and you can manually enable or disable your microphone access for a particular application so if you want to disable the microphone access for this application or for this application you have to just turn it off like this so you can manually control your microphone access as well now move on to the next step you can try check windows services so for this click on this search box and here you have to type service you will get this result services click on it now here you have to check few windows services so the first service will be a windows audio so right click on it go to properties make sure the startup type is selected as automatic okay after that again right click on it and then restart this service now right click on this service windows audio and point builder right click on it go to properties make sure the startup type will be automatic and after that restart this service as well that's it now if you are still getting the same issue move on to the next step we can try so in the next step we are going to update our microphone driver so right click on this windows icon then go to this option device manager you will see this kind of window click on this option audio input and outputs expand this option and this is the microphone driver i have in my system right click on it go to update driver so this will update your driver that's it after that restart your system and check the next step you can try is uninstall this driver so right click on it click on uninstall device and this will uninstall your microphone driver after that restart your system immediately and check the final thing you can do is update your operating system 
So these are the few things you can try. This is all for the video. Thank you.